Go. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is buy a food scale. This is just a basic one off of Amazon. I'll put the link in the post. Um, you're going to want a jar. These are gallon jars that I bought from Uline. I started out just using a quart jar, so that's an option. Um, they also have half gallon jars at Walmart that are a little bit bigger if you need a bigger size. So first thing you need to do is make sure that you take out the weight of the jar. So you use that by tearing your scale. On mine, I just push this button. You can tell it's teared because it goes back down to zero. So once you're here, these gallon jars, they hold three pounds of beads. Um, your quart jar, you're gonna want to put in eight ounces of beads, I believe. I'll double check them right in the post, but eight ounces. So with these, I'm gonna measure out three pounds. So I'm just gonna scoop some in, and then I'll use my scale to make sure that I have the right amount. So I'm setting it on, I'm over a little bit, so I'll just pull out enough so that I get down to three pounds. Took a little too much out, okay. So there you can see that it's three pounds. So now the next thing you need to do is you need to add in your scent. Now there's lots of different opinions on scent um, as far as ratio goes. What your ratio is talking about is your weight of your beads to your weight of your oil. There are a lot of people who use four ounces of beads to one ounce of oil. And there's a lot of people who use eight ounces of beads to one ounce of oil. It's your personal preference what you use. I use an eight to one ratio, which means eight ounces of beads will be one ounce of oil. Um, I use that because I haven't seen a difference in how long the scent lasts and I haven't seen any difference in how strong the scent is. So as far as customers go, mine have been really happy with this, but you can always add more oil if you want. So for three pounds, that means that I'm putting in six ounces of oil. If you're doing 12 ounces of beads, that would be one and a half ounces of oil. If you're doing a whole pound of beads, that means that you do two ounces of oil. If you have smaller jars and you're just doing eight ounces of beads, then that would be one ounce of oil. So these bottles are nice because they have the spout. Bottles like this with the turn, you just wanna make sure that you turn them sharp enough so that your liquid isn't spilling out all over the place. But these are nice because you just flip it over and then I'm gonna stop when I see this get to three pounds and six ounces, because that's how I know I've added enough oil to it. So I'm getting close. Okay. So there's that. Sometimes you'll add a little bit too much, then you could just throw in a couple more beads. But then you're gonna wanna seal your jar, and then the last step before you let these sit is you need to shake it to make sure that all that oil gets mixed. So once this is mixed, some people stand them up like this so they don't leak. That means a lot of your oil is gonna fall to the bottom. So I like to put them on their side because then you have more oil that is touching the beads. You wanna make sure that you shake and rotate these probably every four hours. I usually do it twice a day, so it's not the end of the world if you don't get around to it. But every time you'll just wanna shake it and rotate it because as you can see, all the oil congregates at the bottom. So that makes sure that it soaks evenly.